Okay, so now let's take a look at the scanning screens. Started up, I put some gel on the probe, and we already have our patient that we set before, our test patient, our patient ID. I've set anesthesia, and I'm using the probe. Now, again, our package is set at vascular, which shows down along here. I'm going to go ahead and do a vascular exam. So in order to do that, we'll go and do this, go through this again. I'm going to select patient, then I'm going to select the application. Selecting the application does not reboot the system. It only reselects what optimization you have here. To reboot the system to set it for vascular access or an MSK overall, you're going to go ahead and get into that utility and select the package from there. Right now we're going to select vascular. And one thing we did notice, let me go back to that real quick. It has this patient ID that's blank again, okay? Now, remember, this does not reset the patient ID when we just go back to the general patient screen. The only thing that's going to reset it is if I overtype this or reboot the system. So don't get nervous when you see a blank patient ID up here. The only way it's going to reset it, again, is if you type in a new ID or last name. And also, when you're setting that patient ID, it's important to note you need to enter the name first before you select the ID. So I'm going to go ahead and select application again. I'll select vascular, and it will get started. So here we can use typically the controls until it's frozen. It's really meant that you can use these hard key or the soft key down here and the hard key controls while you're doing a quick scan. Now again, this isn't going to be beautiful or anything. So while we're doing it, we have our controls up here. We have our freeze. We can freeze our image. We can save an image. We can save the review, and I'll show you that in the next movie. I'm going to unfreeze. We can change our gain. It shows up here. We can change our depth. And we can add color. We can do auto optimization. We can do the guide. Now, I showed the guide in a previous movie, but let's see what the auto optimization does. What this feature does is it takes a look at the whole image and tries to optimize what you would normally see as TGCs in some gain to try and get your bright whites wider and your darks darker to get the clearest image possible. So we'll go ahead and hit auto. We can see it made a minor change in that image. We can keep hitting it to turn on and off. And then we can go over to the color. Let's go ahead and hit the color, and it's going to come up with my color box. Okay, right now it's square. It assumes you're doing some vascular access. So we can steer the box by using the steer button, but it's not quite making the right depth. So you can't actually move this color box. What you do instead is use this depth key, and that will get you to the position that you'd like. And you keep hitting it, and it will make it larger or smaller. So we've seen this, the steer. We have our pulse repetition frequency. PRF low, PRF M, medium, PRF high for high. To invert the color, we can hit invert, blue goes to red, and vice versa. We can also use the power Doppler feature, which is going to show the flow without the velocity information. And if we want to go back to B mode, we click B, and we're back to our 2D imaging.